Today, Saturday, December 8th, 2018, is the 10-year anniversary of this. Crazy Colpster. This YouTube channel, I started trying to be like all those heroes I had when I was 10. And in the spirit of the channel, this is going to be unedited and unscripted and probably low quality. Let's dive, let's look at a re, yeah, let's look at a decade in retrospective. I remember coming across YouTube maybe 2007, about a year before I actually posted something on there, and I thought it was fascinating. We had just barely gotten high speed internet, or high speed for today anyway, and the internet was new to me, and this YouTube thing was incredible. Videos everywhere. In particular, I fell in love with the YouTubers uh, Super Skarmory and Chugga Conroy. I wanted to make stuff just like them. And so I did, for better or for worse. But before then, I wanted to learn how to make a YouTube video. So I found Windows Movie Maker. I took an old CD we had from a children's book called Philadelphia Chickens and I used Google Image Search to find pictures and my very first YouTube video went up. It's not super great. It's literally just a slideshow full of grainy images saved directly off of the search page on Google Image Search on top of a song I didn't make. But alas, my YouTube journey had begun. This video didn't do super well, but since I understood how to make this kind of video, I went on to make another one with the exact same concept, saving images from Google Image Search, putting it over a song I didn't create and I didn't own. And it made the most mute video I've ever had. This video, as of today, has 108,613 views. Is it a super popular video? No, but it's incredible compared to the trends on the rest of my channel. Now, granted, nobody's watching it for the effort I put into it, and fair enough, this video looks actually terrible. But it has been viewed, so I'm proud of that at least. After that, I found I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 on a really old HP computer we had. One that would not work super great, but I discovered there was a video making function. So, once again, using my movie maker magic and the magic of captions, I took games, or I took roller coasters pre built in the game, I recorded them at a stunning 480p and put music I didn't own over the front of it again. This is a uh, something else. I even put my own commentary in. I did that for a few more rides before I got to the uh, point of my YouTube channel where I was probably the laziest and might reek and uh, I might actually wind up taking down on fear of copyright. That was the era of Taking songs straight out of Roller Coaster Tycoon, sticking an image on the front, and pasting them. These are probably my most popular series of videos, but again, it's more content I didn't create. And, I mean, I really wouldn't like that my channel taken down over a couple copyright strikes from this, so might not last for much longer. I also threw in Locomotion, a singular song, as well as a few uh, songs I found some, on some other CDs. After that and a few more roller coasters, I was on to my next big project, Adventure Rides. This is just the epitome of quality right now. And then I went to my actual next big project. I asked for a camera for Christmas. It was a poor quality camera. I had a tiny TV in my room 
and I had a Nintendo GameCube, and I had a voice that had not gone through puberty yet. Using that same Movie Maker magic, I started a new Let's Play series, or sorry, a walkthrough. These videos were cringingly, uh, cringeworthy to say the least, and more popular than I'd like to admit to. Not popular, but more popular than the stuff I actually like. And I sound like that. Again, the epitome of quality, especially the lens glare, especially the glare right there. It only got better from there. I promise. Ah, uh, again, something I wouldn't really want to show others. I saw people playing Donkey Kong Country on Donkey Konga on expert mode. I think that's what it was called. Whatever the hardest difficulty was, and I thought, man, I could never do that. Let's make a silly video of me not doing that. And then I did decently compared to how I thought I would do. And then I decided to post that on YouTube. It was a uh, not super great. Again, it only gets better. This time using my sister's camera, I pointed at a computer okay, monitor started. and started my most popular or my greatest series to date. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Let me just apologize for the last video cutting off unexpectedly. And let me just apologize for the fact that these things exist. At least in its first stage. Back then I did not know how to build roller coasters. I did not know how to talk into a microphone. I did not know what good commentary was. And it wasn't going to get any better. By that time, I was my freshman year of high school. So, still an 8th grader heart, as you can he tell. A than the Another thing I'd like to point out before continuing is, I did not know, and to this day, I still can't fake, to this day, I still seem to struggle with this. Cannot just decide on a single volume level for my channel. So, uh, the volume goes all over the place. This video, which I entitled, uh, Pooh, pretty good description. This video was made in my high school speech class. We had to make a fake product and advertise it to the class, including a television commercial. So I tried to make a parody of the most interesting man alive. And it wasn't very great. His teachers give him Look at that frame rate. Apples. Look at that zoom. Look at that blur. It's incredible. And most importantly, the cut to the middle of him speaking. It was great. Now, it was shortly after this that I discovered what's known as screen capturing software, like OBS, which I'm using right now. But this, back then I was, uh, I used a whole slew of software at first. I think, according to this video, it looks like debut video capture something. It wasn't super great. But, yeah. Yeah, it, it just wasn't very good. My favorite part is that I uploaded this video even though it only took up a quarter of the screen. Oh. And I apparently also had co-hosts at this time. Speaking of which, I started using software, in particular unregistered Hypercam 2. I didn't have I never had that little banner on my video, so that's a thing at least. Hello, and welcome to the next part of the And I certainly knew how to blow out a microphone. I've learned something. Five gets The videos went on like this for a long time. It was at this point that I got into the, uh, how do I want to put it, the flow of making videos, if you want to call it that, and I made a lot of them. In, from this, February 3rd of, that yeah, from February of 2012 to a, like what, maybe eight months after that. Kept making them, I kept posting them, and none of them were good. 
like at all. They just kept coming and they didn't stop coming. Now, I realized that these games are practically the same rendering engine, so I also started the Locomotion series at this time. After a lot of thought about it, and it's still ear splittingly loud. Now, I want a new angle on this. I want to do something no one else is doing. So I got quote unquote co hosts with me, a different one every episode, to play this game with me. And the thing about it was, none of my friends knew about this game. And none of my family knew about this game. So every episode consisted of me mostly just teaching them how to play while also trying to, uh, trying to also provide commentary. In short, it wasn't very, it wasn't very good. Now, at about this point, the computer that we were running on, an HP Pavilion, decided that it had been finished working. We turned it off one day, and it never turned back on. And thus, the first hiatus of my channel, of the series. Uh, it would prove to be a thing that would happen quite often. I tried on multiple occasions to get more setups for recording, and none of them worked out very well. None of them would record Orchestra Tycoon 2. I tried on my uncle's computer, that's how I got this uh, Widgets in Gold Let's Play. Part 1, the one and only part. And it was about that time that I got what may be the greatest mo the greatest thing I've ever seen on YouTube. This was definitely the high point of my YouTube career. I woke up one morning, I checked my email, and I saw that I had received a message from one Mikesus7. I'm going to pronounce it like that. And saw he made a video El Pure shout about... Out number two. A certain this player. shout out goes to Crazy Culpster. And the reason I'm giving him a shout out is because he was doing videos on my favorite PC game of all time, Roller Coaster Tycoon. And he made a full video about me. Now, it didn't get very many views, and not too many people follow him. But when I saw this video, I was ecstatic. I knew at that time that not many people watched my videos, but to see that somebody made a video about my channel, it was mind-blowing to me. I was, that put me on a high for the rest of the day. It was spectacular. And to this day, this is the YouTube video I show off whenever the, whenever the uh, conversation topic of me having a YouTube channel ever gets brought up. Now. Going from that high was probably the most cringeworthy moment I've ever seen on my channel. I came across this I came across this moment several years after I originally recorded the episode back in 2012. And when I heard it, I just had to stop the video and just reconsider anything I've ever done on the internet for a solid maybe 5 minutes. I had built this roller coaster I thought it was going to be terrible. Somewhere in there, there, it looked like the coaster was going too fast around a corner. It didn't look good. I thought it was going to be terrible. Then it turned out to not be terrible. And my reaction was appropriate for that of a 14-year-old. Here, that it's not too far in lateral. Jeez. Are you pooping me? I'm sorry that had to happen. Ugh. Ugh. And I just have so many videos of that quality. It's, I mean, you can't just take them down. You gotta keep them for like historical reasons at this point. But I kept making them. Now, this is about the end of like my big rush of making these videos. The quote unquote Christmas special. This is recorded on a computer in our computer lab over at my high school. I got permission from my teacher to stay after school and uh, use the computer to record this. I don't know why she let me, but 
it was a thing. These came out. And that's when the hiatus started becoming very frequent. We'd have uh, several months in between episodes, maybe only like two or three a year. But I also started looking for other things to do after making a whole bunch of Roller Coaster Tycoon videos. I tried Dungeons & Dragons Heroes, a game on the Xbox with uh, three of my other friends. It never went... It seemed to actually have a lot of interest, but it never went past the first episode. We recorded about five episodes worth and then never touched it again. But the problem was the software... The thing we're using to record with, the uh, capture card, was uh, giving really desynced audio, and it wasn't working with our camera, and I guess I decided it was never worth it, so... Part one was created, and on part one, we stayed. Maybe it would have been a fun series, but coordinating that was a pain. Or, you know, hearing the commentary, maybe it wasn't so much, a maybe it wasn't that great of a series. Now, if we fast forward to 2015, let's try a few other things. I've I really like the channel Extra Credits, and I wanted to do something like that. So I took a UDraw game tablet we had, UDraw being a uh, video game you can get on the Wii of all about art or whatever. Sure likes to put that watermark on our corn on uh, any pictures you make on it. And I took an old Dungeons and Dragons game that I had played one time, and I tried to turn it into a story. I knew it didn't look all that great, but at this point I was starting to understand that the content I was making. Wasn't super spectacular, but more of a fun pastime. Hello there. I'm Colby. Also, it started to sound like I do right now. So fortunately that had happened. A story about an elf and a human. I got some uh, really great comments on this. Definitely not from people I know, and they're definitely not being super sarcastic. Now, at this time I also tried branching off into a few other things I like doing. First being, uh, quote, er, first being Colby and his cell phone. I figured that uh, I was playing around a source filmmaker. I was trying to figure out how to use it. That didn't really go very far, but I did make something. Whatever this is. I didn't feel that would be appropriate to put on my main channel. Under the pretense of quality or something like that. I don't know. So I put, made this next channel. Colby and his cell phone. Is it... I put uh, my extra stuff on here. I haven't really got done too much with it. But, you know. You never know. I've also been a piano player for a long time. I'm not going to say I'm really good at it. I mean, some people say I am. I don't know. But I decided to put some of the uh, creations I made on here. Now, the way I was doing this was recording on the piano and sending the MIDI files to my computer, so they're not particularly high quality. But I think this channel has some potential. I'd like to go on with it. I'm trying to figure out a better way to record myself. So, maybe something will happen. The last big project I started on was my Cook, Serve, Delicious series. Another co-op with a, a friend of mine, but this time at least we sort of knew what we were doing. Welcome to Cook. We didn't really know Delicious. what we didn't really know what direction we wanted to take this series at first, but it isn't getting very many views. I have a video that's over two years old in this series that only has one view as of right now. But even if it's not getting many views, we found it's a lot of fun to actually roleplay in this game to be the chefs that we're uh, talking about. Yeah, one view. It's uh, spectacular. But taking the role of the and chefs themselves so instead of just a let's player playing a video game, it was actually a surprising amount of fun. The next week, the Unfortunately, the series ended after uh, 24 episodes, mostly on account of my largest hiatus I've ever had on the channel, a two-year hiatus spanning from 2016 to this year, 2018. If you watch my old videos, you might see it dropped in there somewhere. You might catch on. But I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
I was 19 years old. I had done a semester of college, and most men around my age in the church will go on a two-year mission. That wasn't the right way to separate this. And so I packed my bags, I kissed my mother goodbye, and I disappeared from the internet for a solid two years. Got back in April 2016 after serving in the India Bengaluru mission, a life-changing experience. And here I am making videos again. Now, right before my mission, I discovered Linux. I fell in love with this operating system, and upon getting back, I've fully embraced it. So, as a program that runs natively on Linux, I've swapped from playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 to open RCT2. The quality is certainly better, though I'm still just uprooting the thing I make directly. I'm in this for fun, not for, uh, not for popularity or money. And here we are. I continue to make videos. I also started another small little channel. This isn't really for other people to watch, but for my own reference later in life. Later in uh, what might be my career. I'm studying, studying electric engineering at college right now. And part of that includes coding. And so I don't forget what I was thinking when I look back at my old code or when I see my old projects. I've started a channel called Colby Codes in which I code. That's all. There's really not much to it, but there are some, some things on there, like my more humorous errors. Because it's quite the game of asteroids right here. And the last and most recent project I worked on was a uh, one last video with my brother. I We explained it in the video, but we both enjoy watching speedruns a lot of video games. And we both like and we both enjoy pretending to speedrun, because we don't actually speedrun. We don't do anything remotely related to that. But we realized we had personal bests in both Celeste and Freedom Planet that were similar to each other. I had a Freedom Planet best of about... What was it? About an hour and 30 or an hour and 40 minutes, and that was about his time in Celeste. Since I'm not super great at Celeste and he's never touched Freedom Planet before, we decided to have an arbitrary race and record it. I uh, didn't do super spectacularly, but I had a lot of fun making this, and I definitely want to keep trying stuff like this in the future. And if you look at the date, September 30th, we're back up to the present now. So 10 years. Oh my goodness, it has been so long. This channel has lasted nearly half as long as I've been alive. That is crazy. And yeah, there aren't many people who watch this. Yes, the videos probably aren't super great. And it's probably not going to grow much. But I sure have had a fun time doing this, doing this over the past decade. Where do I see this going in the future? Probably the same place it's been going. Going to keep making videos that I enjoy. Going to keep uploading them. And hey, you never know what could happen. It's been a fun 10 years. If any of you guys have actually watched my stuff, thank you. I mean, you probably could have done better things with your time, but the fact that I was will the fact that I was worthwhile enough for you to watch makes it feel good. And with that, here's to another decade of here's to another decade of YouTube. Have a good one.